Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Alexandra Goryachkina and Antoneta Stefanova. This is a game from the Grand Prix tournament played in Luzen in 2020. Goryachkina had white pieces and she started with knight to f3. The ready opening. Maybe. g6, e4, d6, d4, knight to f6, knight to c3. And we have the Pirt's defense. Bishop to g7, bishop to e3, castling queen to d2, a6, preparing the pawn storm on the queen side. Bishop to h6, c5, bishop takes on g7, king takes on g7, d takes on c5, d takes on c5, white to move. Queen takes queen was played. Let's take it back. If queen to e3, then queen to a5. And after castling queen side, we would have a wild game. But black has a good chance in a wild game too. Back to our game. Queen takes on the 8 was played. Rook takes on the 8. And the queens are off the board. e5. Black to move. Knight from f to d7 was played. Perhaps knight to h5 should have been considered, preventing castling queenside. Back to our game. Knight from f to d7, and Goryachkina castled queenside, pinning the knight. Knight to c6, bishop to c4, knight to b6, if b5, then bishop to d5. Knight to b6, rook takes rook, knight takes rook, rook to d1, Bishop to d7. White pieces are somewhat better placed. Knight to g5. Bishop to c6. Bishop to f1. h6. Knight from g to e4. Knight to e6. g3. f5. Pawn takes pawn. Anpasan. Pawn takes pawn. a4. Very interesting move. Black to move. f5 was split. Let's take it back. If knight takes on a4, knight takes on a4, bishop takes on a4, knight to d6, and after b6, rook to e1, and white has a compensation for the sacrificed pawn. Back to our game. Stefanova played a5, attacking the knight, instead of moving the knight. a5, knight to d7, knight to d6, knight to e5. Let's take it back. Rook to d8 should have been considered. Knight to e5 was played. f4. Knight to g4 attacking the pawn on h2. How would you continue? This is a very interesting moment of the game. h3 seems like a normal move, but then black would play knight to e3. Gorachkina played knight takes on b7, and this is very strong move. Knight to e3. Let's take it back. If bishop takes on b7, then one line goes like this. Rook to d7, check. And after king to f8, the king is safer on f8 than on f6. Then rook takes on b7, and white is much better. Black is even advised not to take the pawn on h2. If knight takes on h2, then bishop to c4. And have a good look at the placement of the white and the black pieces. White is standing better. Back to our game. Knight to e3 attacking the rook. Rook to e1. Knight takes bishop. And now not rook takes knight on f1, but rook takes knight on e6. Bishop takes on b7. Rook to e7 check. King to g8. Again on f6 the king would be exposed. The rook takes on b7. Back to our game. King to g8. Rook takes bishop on b7. Knight takes on h2. Black is intending knight to f1, picking another pawn. How would you prevent that? Gorechkina decided to allow black to win the pawn on g3, and she went after the pawn on a6. Knight to d5 was played. Knight to f1, knight to c7, rook to f1, 
Knight takes on a6, knight takes on g3. And the position is set up for an interesting pawn race. At the moment, the white pawn is closer to promotion. The game continued. Knight takes on c5, h5, a6, h4, a7, h3, white to move. How would you continue? Gurachkina played knight to d3. Rook to b8 was another way to go. And after h7, rook takes rook check, king takes on f8, then white pushes the pawn and promotes it to queen, king to f7, and white should win eventually. Back to our game. Knight to d3, intending knight to f2, preventing promotion. Knight to e4, rook to b8, h2, rook takes rook check, king takes rook, pawn to a8 check, king to g7, white to move. How would you continue now? Gorachkina played, queen takes on e4, f takes on e4, knight to f2, e3, knight to h1, king to f6, b4. King to f5, b5, king takes on f4, b6, king to f3, b7, king to g2, if e2 then king to d2. So we have king to g2 attacking the knight, Gurachkina push the pawn to b8, queen, king takes knight, white played the move and black resigned. How would you continue? Gurachkina played queen to g3 and Stefanova resigned, not interested in El Gipo stalemate trick. But let's play a few more moves. After e2, king to d2, g5, king takes on e2, g4, then white does not take on g4 if queen takes on g4 stalemate. But queen goes to f2 allowing g3 and then queen to f1, checkmate. What a beautiful endgame battle. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.